Good morning. Welcome to the Smart Family of Cooling Products. This is a troubleshooting video that we're going to be going through for our Smart Academy training session. We're looking at our standard industrial high static air conditioning unit, model SACP41A-HS. Today we're going to be talking about the four position selector switch that's inside the customer interface panel. So you'll notice that each stage of cooling on our SACP units has one of these four position switches on it. The four positions are off, local, hand, and remote. Now we're going to describe to you what each position means, how it functions, and then look at the wiring schematic as well to see how it works. Okay, So if that switch is in the off position, then for the 40 ton unit with a single 40 horsepower compressor, that compressor is going to be off. If I turn that to hand mode, the compressor is going to come on and it's going to be on in hand or manual. So what that means is it's going to bypass the controller and it's going to run continuously unless an electromechanical safety trips. Okay. In local mode, the local or onboard program logic controller or PLC or STAT controller is going to be turning that compressor on and off. You can see there's the onboard controller, the cooling controller. Okay. So in local mode, that cooling controller is going to be turning the compressor on or off. In remote position, we can have remote control of that compressor, and really we just have contacts on the terminal strip that can be wired to whatever the customer desires. This could be a remote T-STAT, it could be a BMS run stop, there's lots of different features here, but we run uh, extra terminals to the terminal strip that you can then turn that compressor on and off. So now let's look specifically how that works in the schematic, and let's start with the hand position. So if I'm in hand position, my compressor is going to run manually. How that works on the schematic is if our cooling switch is in the on position and my switch is in hand or manual, you'll see I'm jumping over the PLC controller. And the only thing that can stop our compressor from coming on is the electromechanical safeties, which are going to be motor protection module, high pressure switch, low pressure switch, and then our circuit breaker or overloads on the compressor. So in hand position, we're bypassing the controller, jumping around the controller, and we're running unless an electromechanical safety trip. Okay. If I put it in local mode, local mode, and I go back to our schematic, the local position of the switch means that the digital output or compressor one is being electrically opened or closed, turned on and off by the controller, and the controller is deciding when that compressor comes on and off. There's more functionality with the system in that in local mode, that controller can run off leaving air control or entering air control, depending upon the position of the switch. Final position is remote. If I look at the schematic, you'll see in remote position, we have customer supplied closure. This is field wiring between terminal 61 and 62. So wherever we're closing those set of contacts electrically, we can bring on that compressor. Again, that could be a customer T-STAT, that could be a BMS system. There's lots of different things that we could have contact closure there. If we look at the 110 volt terminal strip, terminal 61 and 62 are left open. That's for our field wiring. Okay. So one more time and just to verify, in off mode, our compressor will never come on. In local, our onboard PLC is controlling the compressor. In hand mode, we're running manually. And in remote position, we need to Close the contacts from 61 to 62 to bring the compressor on and off.
Thank you for watching this short troubleshooting video. Please stay tuned for more.